two men journey to the bars and restaurants of Scandinavia to find amazing beers, always with the same question. Hey, what's on tap? It's time to find out. All right, we have a very special episode of What's on Tap podcast. The Omnipolo has released their latest uh, ice cream flavors. So, ice cream stouts. Ice cream stouts. So today we're trying the... Rocky Road ice cream and the Texas pecan ice cream. Now this is in collaboration with Buxton where we get the Yellow Belly, which is uh, another one of their amazing beers. So there's very high hopes for this. One of your favorites? Oh, I fucking love it. Um, both of these have been released in the UK and for some reason they don't get day and date release here as well. I don't know why that is, but uh, we're getting these on the shelves in January. Uh, so we're really looking forward to that, but they have them here at Vicious Arms Savoy. Once again, we have returned to one of our favorite places to sample uh, some hopefully mighty fine beers. Uh, we're also joined in studio by a very special guest, um, one of my oldest friends in Sweden, uh, Chantra Trathara. Uh, she is going to be uh, also giving her two cents on this as she looks uh, terrified uh, at the moment. So say hi. Howdy. All right. She's also from America. Um, so. That's why you have that wonderful southern twang going on there. Okay, so what are we uh, what are we expecting from? We're gonna do the Texas pecan first. Uh, do a quick round. What are you guys expecting? Uh, didn't we start with the Rocky Road? No, no, the Rocky Road's still full in the bottle. Okay. Uh, this is the Texas pecan. Okay. Nice. I'll let you look at the bottle so it's close up front to you. Yeah. All right. So what what do you expect from this, Matias? Well, I mean, what I was hoping for was that we were gonna go back to something around the lines of like the Hypno Pampa and the Noah pecan. Stouts, <clears throat> yeah. Because I mean, there's been a few of the newer ones that I haven't really enjoyed that much, like the anagram that we walk and talked about uh, that was horrible. a while back. That was not great. Um, <clears throat> but I think if we're if we're heading back towards the direction of the Noah Pecan Mud Cake Stout, I think we're in a good place. Yeah, definitely. And I, I will say that some of their latest um, creations have sounded more like a, a bottle of diabetes than anything, because it's just like. Marshmallow, graham cracker, chocolate fudge, caramel, ripple, you know, flavors. And I saw one the other day, it was a IPA that was a mango IPA. The yeah, the Sploing, which it was a mango IPA with marshmallows and graham, graham crackers, crackers and something else. And it was just like, that sounds horrible. I mean, the names are getting a little bit ridiculous. But I, I mean, like Sploing. Well, Sploing's I mean, a great that name. One's fine, but I, I mean, drink Sploing all day long. You would take Sploing anywhere. Exactly. <laughs> You have blowing on your shirt right now. I know, but I don't want to talk about that. This is for another episode. <laughs> that's for a different podcast. Yeah, that's the that's the uh, embarrassing blowing moments podcast. <laughs> it's coming soon. <laughs> so Chandra, Chandra, heading Ch up that one. Yeah, Chandra, what are you what are you expecting from this? I don't know, just an enjoyable stout that reminds me to drink beer instead of eat dessert. All right. Uh, okay. Good job. Good job. Uh, right. Let's take a quick smell smell of it. It smells pretty much like vanilla pecan. Just a little more pecan -y, I think. It's funny, I had a pecan pie uh, dessert this weekend, this past weekend. Yeah? It smells really similar to that. Yeah, uh, spot on. Um, like a, a Texas pecan, I would say. Yeah. Well, I've, never, I've never smelled a Texas huh? pecan. Little cocoa nibs. Yeah, it's cocoa nibs in there. Pecan. Right, yeah, definitely. A lot of chocolate in there. Oh, definitely. Densely? That's it, definitely. Oh, all right. <laughs> Yeah, this is this smells great, and again, like all of the. It doesn't smell artificial like some of the previous ones have done. No, and I was I was a little worried about how they would get Texas pecan yeah. into a into a beer flavor because it's not something I think is readily identifiable as a as a beer as a flavor in and of so itself. So is Texas pecan different from another pecan? No, it just no. is Texas. It's just, it's just bigger. It's just a big Texas pecan. <laughs> it's just it's just, a, it's just, it's a, just big a bigger pecan. bigger pecan is all a pecan so, pecan pecan. 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 Um, all right, yeah, so this is like other Omnipolo styles, just black and dense, uh, not overly carbonated. It feels heavy in the glass. Oh, yeah, it does. Yes, Chantra. Exactly. You want to say something? No. J <laughs> just like you like it. Yes. <laughs> black and dense. Yeah. All right. So, cheers. Cheers. I think this is a little warm still. Think it's a little warm still or a little cold? Warm. 
I think, no, well, cold. Cold. Yeah. I was going to say, I, it's opposite I think Friday. It, it is. Don't you know? <laughs> you didn't get the memo? Exactly. I like to hear on top. Yep. <laughs> Usually, never mind. Uh, uh, yeah. It's great, man. Yeah. We're uh, just reviewing it for the podcast, so it's very exciting. Yeah, yeah that's okay. You can join. <laughs> Chip in. Yeah. yeah. I tried one of them. I tried the. Uh, is it the pecan or the rocky road? The rocky road. All right, yeah. we're gonna do that one next. So looking forward. Getting to Getting on that uh, one. Yeah. Texas pecan is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this is a little cold still. I think um, it's going to really open up. Yeah. Just first taste. I think it's uh, got a lot of potential, and I'm. I'm well, it's definitely not artificial like no. a lot of the other stats has been. Yeah, definitely not. So we're all, we're all cupping our glasses in hopes of warming it uh, quickly. Um, so many dirty men. I know. This <laughs> we just have to, you know, our, our cups runneth over with with goodness. Um, so not a lot of foam on that one. No, there's, so what I'm doing is I'm also pouring up the, uh, the rocky road to give it a chance to breathe a little bit and maybe warm up uh, in the glass some before we, we try it. It uh, is also just black and, and dark, <laughs> like Chantra likes. And dense. And dense. And dense. Can't wait um, to try it. Yeah, it looks beautiful as well. Um, yeah, so again, for, what were your first impressions of this? Uh, the first taste? Oh, I'm really happy about this. Yeah? Yeah, so I think it's it's going back to like the really the non-artificial stout era of Omnipolo, okay. which is the one I really enjoyed. Yeah, me too. I, I think they've been getting really crazy with all of their, their combinations. Mm -hmm. This feels like something a little more settled and uh, a little more confident and less yeah. uh, trying to be edgy and out there. And I also think it helps that it's, I mean, Buxton does amazing dark beers. Yeah, yeah. and I wonder if this is the Buxton influence. Uh, yeah. Like, Buxton really took the lead on this, and Omnipolo just kind of threw in a little bit. Uh, oh, I don't think or, so. Or what's, the, probably what's the collab effort, you think? Are the ice cream ones collaborations? Or yeah, yeah they're, all, they're all collaborations they're with Buxton. Okay. At least, at least yeah. these two are. I don't know about the other ones. Uh, when you say that the lemon meringue, those probably are as well. But I don't know if it's influenced by Buxton or if it's just brewed there. Okay. I'm not sure. So what we're saying is you just don't know. Yeah. All right. That's exactly Fair what enough. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so Chantra, what, what, what are you feeling about this? I'm loving it. It's nutty. It's sweet. Like you said, it has a more natural taste yeah. than the um, artificial sweetness. Yeah. Good mouthfeel. I don't know. Okay. I'm enjoying it. Great. Well, just full of information over there. <laughs> All right. Do you want to set this aside for a minute and, and move on to the... What is it? The, we'll let this one rocky road. All right. So there you go, Chantra. The rocky road. And the rocky road. Thank you, thank you. And the rocky road. And we should say that both of these are... 10% alcohol by volume, so they, they both have a um, pretty heavy alcohol load to them. I think, no? Okay. <laughs> no. Okay, so what are we expecting from this? Something kind of along a, a mix between the the Texas Pecan and the Hypnopampa, because Rocky Road is of course chocolate, chocolate and marshmallows. marshmallows and nuts, um, and a little bit of caramel in there. I'm getting so, a lot of caramel on this. Yeah. I, I, I would be surprised if you didn't. But it, it is like the candy caramel type aroma you get from it, which is something that I'm trying to, I'm hoping to be able to get that from my next brew as well. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm getting some. So I'd be interested in hearing like what they did to get the caramel notes on this. I'm also getting the vanilla off of it from the, yeah, from the marshmallow. Jandra, how, how are you smelling over there? It smells sweet. It smells good. I don't think I can uh, say anything that you guys haven't covered. Okay. Well, then let's, uh, let's toast. Cheers. And uh, down the hatch. Bottoms up. Kampai. <laughs> Kampai. I love that. <laughs> Ichi ni san kampai. <laughs> no, not that. Mmm. All right, a little background music. Okay, so it's kind of, uh, isn't it kind of like harsh cacao nib harsh? It is. It is much harsher than the Texas pecan, which yeah. I would have thought the Texas pecan would have been a bit harsher and a bit drier. Yeah, but I actually find this much drier. Um, yeah, same here. With um, with no, missing a lot of the the, the roundness I want something. from it. Yeah, yeah. I would expect this to be a little richer and a little thin, rounder. It's really dry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's it. 
because I mean the the Texas pecan is has massive mouthfeel to it and a really like thick body. Yeah, yeah, this is just. I would say it actually does feel a little thin in the mouth compared to the. Compared, I mean, well, compared compared to the yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, this is intensely dense. Big. Yeah. In your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. It is. It's yeah. true. You said it. Yeah, it's it's not. Uh, this is a little. It, it, it looked less carbonated, but it feels a little fizzier as well on the tongue. I think. Yeah, maybe. I'm not really getting that much fizziness from it. All right. But I mean, I think the Texas pecan almost felt like a nitro. Uh, yeah, kind of. Style. Yeah, it was very rich and very. Yeah. Creamy. Super, super sweet. Yeah. But not in a cloyingly bad way. Yeah, exactly. And I, did, I, I feel like the Rocky Road is, is not as interesting as I as I was hoping from it. I was really expecting yep. a lot more caramel and vanilla and... Marshmallow, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kind it of flavors. It seems to be a little bit more bitter than the other one as well. Yeah, it seems yeah, dry and bitter and kind of... The, almost the opposite of what you would expect from Rocky Road. Yeah. Whereas I would I would have expected the Texas pecan to be a bit drier, um, because pecans are kind of a, a dry, a dry nut and a little, a little bitter at the same time, but they're not roasted. Also a little cold. So yeah. Also, yeah. Maybe we should um, warming that up a little bit. So we'll just hold up our candle now uh, for the next ten minutes, and we'll just uh, sit here and chat away. Silence. While we, while, yeah, in silence. We'll chat away in silence like people are known to do. Um, and again, we're both just mantic, uh, frantically cupping our, our glasses to, uh, yeah. Chandra's, Chandra's one handing it over there because that's the way she likes to, to roll. Big black and one handed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as it warms up, it gets a little sweeter. How do you warm that that fast? I have very warm hands. Yeah. It's from my no. It's from my warm heart <laughs> that oh, uh, that bad. <laughs> keeps it you know keep keeps the blood circulating. I've seen a doctor about it. They said it's not life threatening, but uh, you know I should take it easy so I don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of the problems with having a large heart. <laughs> While we cup our glasses, we are admiring Mateus's new hat. I will it's say. A pretty sweet hat. It is a very sweet hat. We'll have to post a, post a photo of it. Thank you. Yeah, we can do that. Yep, no, nope. still liking the um, things that become better. I have to say, I am myself as well. Yeah. Yeah. I firmly agree. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll just rate the um, Rocky Road first. What do you, uh, what, what are you feeling, Chantra? I don't know your rating scale. Zero to five. Mm. At point of two on the five. rocky road yep. first uh 3.5 3.5 all right matthias i thought it was nicer when it warmed up a little bit actually because yeah. the sweetness came out more than the dry finish to it so i'm gonna go for like a 3.75 uh i think i'm gonna go with chanter and also do a 3.5 i was really expecting a lot more from this uh and a lot more more flavor coming out of it and i think even as it warms up it is getting sweeter but i don't think we're going to get the roundness out of it um like we got from texas pecan out of the out of the um, right out the gate I'm thinking you might have more experience with uh, the actual dessert Rocky Road as well than I do, so I don't know. That's also very that. possible. You know, you can buy. Well, they kind of do a Rocky Rocky Road brownies here. I've seen, I've seen those quite those, often. Yeah. I've seen those. Uh, but really, Rocky Road is usually in referral to ice cream. Yeah. Um, which you can also find here um, from I think Hagen Dazs and um, maybe one other place. Get out a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beer nerd, get out there. <laughs> Live life a little. Buy some ice cream. Buy some ice cream. Yeah, and as the Texas pecan warms up a little bit, I think it, it still brings more to the table. Oh, that one's definitely a lot. Yeah. So, uh, Chantra, on the, again, ladies first. I'll do uh, 4.25. 4. Okay. 
Tis? 425. I will also go 425. Woo! I don't know. Straight up the board. Yeah, that was a, it was really nice. It's not quite, I don't think, Noah Pecan nice, but it's still a really it's excellent. Really close to it. Yeah, yeah, really close to it. I, I'm looking forward to buying bottles of this when it comes uh, out in January here in Hopefully. Sweden. Hopefully. I say it will. We'll see. I also hear that um, Yellow Belly comes out in January as well. So. Oh, really? Crossing my fingers. Yeah, that's what. What I heard. The Who knows that's going to happen? Yep. Okay. So check us out on iTunes. Um, also check us out on um, what Stitcher, Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram. and uh, you know just do a search for what's on Tap Podcast and find us all over the webs. Uh, Nikki Chanter for joining us today. You, Thank you guys. Your input was essential, and I we couldn't have done it without you. You brought a little class and elegance to this Hashtag party. Hashtag sarcasm. Yeah. No, I mean that. It's <laughs> class and elegance wherever you go. The sexual innuendos would never have been the same. No. Nope. <laughs> could not have Thank had you. them without you. Glad I could help. All right. Um, All right. Thanks for listening. Till next time. Later.